Britain, a nation once famous for its railway engineering, Darlington being one of the towns that helped to gain this reputation. But this seemed somewhat forgotten. The working men of Darlington proved to be of true Britishness, relaxed but efficient. However, Darlington is not entirely forgotten. It is remembered by some, the Darlington Railway Preservation Society. Set up in 1981, the DRPS is currently celebrating its 30th anniversary. The DRPS dedicates itself to restoring and preserving the history of the Darlington Railway. Anything related to the railway, in any way, it collects and preserves. The bulk of the DRPS collection is steam engine related, as it was at the time when the Darlington Railway was at its peak and height of industrial power. Yet, there are also diesel powered locomotives in the collection, as well as steam trains. The extent to which the DRPS restores is extraordinary, considering it is only a charity. The restoration of engine 78018 is currently the main project of the DRPS, an engine which is well known for getting stuck in a snowdrift in 1955 near Bleak Gill. The 78018 is a British Rail Standard 260 Class 2MT tender locomotive, built at North Road Works in 1954. It is currently undergoing a full overhaul of the boiler system. Building steam locomotives was a tough task but the men had pride in their work. The DRPS tries to stay true to these methods when restoring and rebuilding engines to honour the legacy of the men who built them originally. The DRPS themselves face problems, having to do a lot of the work in the dark during the autumn and winter months. The 78018 is one of the most difficult jobs they have undertaken to date. Steam engines had to stand up to a lot of punishment, just as the men had to work under harsh conditions. They had no safety gear, no big machinery. It was all done by hand, while wearing sturdy boots and a warm coat. Unlike today, the men worked all hours and put their lives at risk, working on the track even while trains were approaching. The DRPS collection is vast. Steam, diesel and electric engines fill the giant shed. The volunteers of the DRPS are very much like the men who built the trains originally, working all hours but getting on with the job all the same. Turntables were one of the biggest bits of machinery the men used. Unfortunately, however, the DRPS do not quite have that much space. The world was moving forward, but the DRPS preserves a past that cannot be forgotten.